hey, this is Landfill from Cannabis Corpse, and you're gonna see the van. We call it Vanibus Corpse. And uh, as you can see, it's real pimp shit. So, welcome to the passenger seat. This is where, <laughs> this is, uh, we've been living in this van for a second, so, you know, things happen. Uh, okay, let's take a look around. I've seen, as I've seen in other YouTube videos, vans will just show off the random shit that's in their van. So, uh, let's see what random shit we have in here. We got a cowboy hat. If you're, uh, if you're listening to country music and you want to party, this is uh, suggested. Uh, we have a bust of, of Wagner uh, to remind us that we are peons in musical history. <laughs> we have a Snafu hat, great band from uh, Detroit. Shout out to Scott and Snafu, check them out. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, of course we have rolling papers. That is for uh, smoking illegal drugs. I would say that in Cannabis Corpse, I do the majority of the driving because I own the van and I'm very particular about keeping my shit together and not allowing anyone to get into an accident. Not saying that anyone else drives the van will get into an accident, but I like having control of the wheel. Um, let's see here. Oh, we have a WWE fucking uh, fanny pack. This is good for the merch guy to carry around whatever he needs. Yeah, we got some pins up here, some different things, mostly wrestling related. Uh, we have like some uh, a b championship belt, uh, United States belt. Uh, let's see, uh, we got Dolly Parton over here. And yeah, so um, got uh, Kevin Owens in here and The Undertaker. We also have uh, early from squid billies uh, things that we love okay let's take a look in the back let's see what kind of junk rolls out of here okay look this is what it's like this is the luxurious lifestyle of being in a band you just you have a ton of junk and everything's thrown around everywhere and you have uh, some water bottles so people can stay hydrated and then you have like access CDs in certain strategic spots around the van. We got five guys rolling with us and uh, it's three guys in Cannabis Corps and then two guys to kind of help us out. And uh, I would say it rotates with who is in what spot. But uh, I would say, you know, you got your driver, your passenger, and then someone's sleeping here, someone's sleeping here. And then in the back, as you will see, we have a little bit of a... We have our, this is the Ritz Carlton of sleeping in the van. This is where he really, you can get some good sleep. We have the whole sleeping area. <laughs> uh, this, yeah, doubles as stage clothes, hanging area and fucking <laughs> smelly fucking things. And I don't know, you, you kind of get used to the funk of other men when you're on tour. And uh, it's just something that doesn't affect you anymore after 15 years of touring. Because you accept that sometimes you're too tired to fucking take a shower after the show. All you want to do is fucking go to sleep. But I'll tell you, this is where it happens. I, I get back here and fucking sleep my ass off even at night after the show. Um, I like sleeping in the van because nobody bothers me in the morning, you know, in, in the hotel or something. People start moving around, taking showers, doing their thing in the morning. But if you're asleep in the van, nobody's fucking with you. You can sleep all the way until it's time to go. Unless you wake up and you gotta fucking take a huge shit, then you're fucked. This is just a fact of life. I bought this trailer and I use it in all three of my bands, Municipal Waste, Iron Reagan, and Cannabis Corpse. It's a great trailer. Uh, it's, it's, it's shorter than the actual van. So it's aerodynamic or something. And uh, it's got just enough room for uh, one band's equipment. Right now it's got some extra shit in there, some merch in the back. And and uh, I love this trailer. It, it's fucking great. The other trailer I had, I put so many miles on it, it just started to sort of became too old and decrepit, you know. And this one's still in good shape. It's only about, it's only about a year and a half old. I'll tell you though, 
all the salt and all the stuff up north when you're traveling in the winter can really like put some wear and tear on your uh, van and trailer just like it's crazy it was like brand new and then all that salt sort of immediately just made things start rusting up I had to take preventative measures and get under there and like spray it down with chemicals and stuff and but uh, having your own trailer and having your own van cuts down costs so much as uh, being in a band you know you don't have to pay to rent anything and so if you are in a band and you're planning on touring full-time I would highly suggest just paying off a van and uh, you'll ultimately save in the long run thank you very much for checking this out <laughs> You know, the lifestyles of the fucking rich and famous, I suppose. But uh, check out Cannabis Corpse. We're on tour the rest of April with Psychroptic and Macabre. We're going out west. We'll be doing, you know, West Coast, Seattle, LA, San Diego. And then we're going through Arizona and Texas. And then in May, uh, my other band, Iron Reagan, is going out with uh, Sega Reich and Leeway and Enforced. And that's coming back around northeast. And uh, then in the summertime, Municipal Waste is going out to Europe to hit some festivals. So uh, be sure to also check out uh, Cannabis Corpse is coming out with a new album this year called Nug So Vile. Coming out on Seasons of Mist Records. So just stay tuned. i got plenty more stuff coming at you. Thank you very much for the support.